Hi folks, welcome back to the Cumbrian homestead. Typical Cumbrian weather, <laughs> as you can see, so not going to get anything much done out there today. So, nice uh, time to be getting on with some other jobs. These are seeds from a Tahitian squash, and there'll be another little brief video coming up to follow about some soup that I made from Tahitian squash. Uh, in fact, which I had from lunch, it was delicious. So, I want to save some seed for next year, and um, what I'm doing is, and again, I, I don't know if this is the right way, what all I'm doing, I've decided, is I'm kind of looking, I don't know how well you can see that, but it's kind of transparent, and it's very thin, and kind of papery. So I don't think that's viable seed, personally. Um, now if you compare that to, say, oh, let's have a look. That one there, maybe. That looks a bit better. And it's a bit thicker. So let's try and find another one. Again, you can see how transparent that one is, and very, very sort of papery, bendy. Again, if we look for something that got a bit of meat to it, I don't know if you can see that, but it is quite a lot thicker and it doesn't seem to be transparent. So that's kind of how I'm assessing viability. I don't know whether that's correct, if anybody knows. Um, if there is a better way to assess seed viability, um, I'd be delighted to know. Please let me know about that. But that's just what I'm doing. I've, I've got a lot of Tahitian squash actually, so I've got probably hundreds and hundreds of seeds to potentially um, collect. But uh, I'm making a start on them now. So that's it really, just wanted to share that with you. So thanks very much for watching. Please like. Please leave your comments below, share if you like, and subscribe. And I will see you in the next one pretty soon. And hope your weather wherever you are is better than here. <laughs> Bye for now.